everyone thanks so much for coming back to my channel this is tina with tina's craft creations i'm on today with a, another project share for my create with crate paper series um i decided to play with the new to me not a new collection but new to me moonlight magic collection so as i um, mentioned in the haul um, when i hauled this collection is um i didn't see a lot of people hauling this collection at first i didn't even really like it myself um, but the more I looked at it, I really like the florals. I like the little icons. Um, I like the colors. I just don't like the fairies. That's the only thing that was off-putting to me. But now that I've played with this collection, I think it is gorgeous. Um, it has so many beautiful florals, beautiful butterflies. Everything can match very nicely with Maggie Holmes and Crate Paper collections. So I had a lot of fun. I actually made three different projects. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I made. So the first project is some little um, embellishments that I made using planner discs. So what I did was I took some planner discs. I have a bunch of these in my stash. I hole punched a piece of paper. And I glued it. I um, attached it down with a um, foam. I put foam underneath the paper to make it level. And I made these little circle embellishments that can pop right onto a project. And I think these are going to be super cute for tag flips. Um, cards, uh, albums, scrapbook layouts, you know, whatever you want to pop them on. And um, I used all kinds of little elements with from the collection. Uh, ephemera, cardstock stickers, um, these dimensional stickers, gold thread and gold enamel dots for my stash. But I think they're so cute. And I think this collection is really pretty. I think it's very underrated. Um, like I said, I don't think it did really well when it came out. Um, but I'm really glad that I picked it up. I think it's super pretty. And I know that I can easily mix a lot of this with um, Maggie Holmes collections. I think it'll go nicely with like Willow Lane, or not Willow Lane, but well, I'm sure some of it would go with Willow Lane. A lot of the florals would go nicely with um, Flourish, um, uh, Woodland Grove, things like that. So those are the little circle embellishments. And I did make them with um, light purple, like a darker bluey color, and then that wood green color. Um, uh, circle um uh the planer discs i can't remember what size punch i use i just have a bunch of circle punches i found the one that was like the most close to that size all right so the next project i made um actually was inspired by liana over at it's a deal um she had posted on her youtube channel earlier today actually um that she was entering into a swap or something on a facebook group or something like that and she used a tutorial for this like file folder thing that um, Patty over at Mommy and Me Crafts had posted like three or four years ago. And I just thought it was so cute. I decided to make one myself. Now I did um, kind of modify it a bit and I'll show you whenever I am showing you the full thing. But this is the little folder and um, I did do a belly band just like Patty did. And I'm gonna take that off so I can show you that first. Um, so I did stitch all around the panels. I did attach it with uh, Velcro dots. So um, this is like two six by 12 papers um, and cut into a certain size and then uh, wrapped around the little folder. So this is how I decorated my belly band. And I just, again, I love the florals. I love the um, butterflies. I just think this collection is really pretty and I'm genuinely surprised that it didn't do as well as it should have. I mean, honestly, I think we probably all just thought, oh, those fa fairies are weird and nobody bought it. But I think the, the fairies set aside, <laughs> the fairies aside, I think the rest of the collection is absolutely gorgeous. So this is my file folder. Um, I did actually modify this slightly because what I did was instead of using the, um, she was using like a multi punch, a multi tool punch kind of thing to make her tab. Um, here and here. I just took my tab punch and made a little tab for the top and I did not make a tab for the bottom. Um, and then I also went one step extra and I layered extra paper on the inside to make this a little bit more sturdy. Now this is a double-sided paper, but um, it just didn't feel very sturdy to me. So um, I went ahead and just cut out some extra paper, stitched all around, and added inside panels to make sure that it was a little bit more sturdy. And then I also stitched the um, fo folder itself. So what will go inside of this is gonna be one memory dex card, and then I'll probably package some of these up in a cello bag and then just use a glue dot to put it on. So that'll be just kind of like a little embellishment slash memory book, memory card, excuse me, memory dex card holder. So I think that'll be super cute. And, um, and then it'll look like this once it's all put together. So super, super cute. And then I did put, put together a quick memory decks card. Um, I just used um, two papers from the collection. Um, 
and then I just double double or I doubled those. They're single sided from the six byte paper pad. I rounded the corners, used my punch, and then I just layered a bunch of ephemera, um, the florals, a little um, card here, a little acetate piece, used some foam stickers, some gold thread, and a little puffy gold heart that someone had sent me. I think that was. Um, now I can't remember who sent that to me. I think it was in one of my entries for my 2K subbies, but I don't remember who sent that to me. But I added that on here, and um, that's a quick little memory decks card that'll go in here and be housed with some of these little embellishments when I gift this or add it to my um, giveaway. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I think this collection is super cute. Um, if you've kind of been on the fence about it, I think that if you like Maggie Holmes, um, I think you should pick it up. It's really pretty the col the colors are gorgeous there's so many beautiful florals and butterflies and things that you can mix with your other collections if you're like say for example you buy a bunch of paper from monty for some of the older collections and you don't have any elements to go with it maybe pick up the foam stickers and the cardstock stickers and things from this collection and it'll pair really nicely um but yeah i think this is a really fun collection and i'm really glad i picked it up i might actually buy some more of these um, dimensional stickers because i really like the butterflies and um yeah i think it's a really fun collection so had a lot of fun playing with it today um if anyone does have any questions please let me know if you've not already i'd greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone